Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you could join me today. Come on up and sit down on Grammy's quilt with me. Come on, kids. Come on, Ronan and Aurora. Come on up here. Great. Come and sit right in front. Today we're going to talk about a creature that God made that lives in Australia and only in the eastern side of Australia. It is a darling animal, as cute as can be. It's about 25. This is a ruler that's 24 inches long, so 25 to all the way up to 30 inches of length, and it weighs about 30 pounds. Um, I'm going to give you just a couple clues. Those are a couple clues already, but it has a gray body with pretty big ears considering how small it is and they have hair sticking out of those ears they're fluffy cute ears and they have strong legs and no apparent tail um, they have dense fur on the bottom of their um, bottom <laughs> and so they can um, have kind of like a cushion to sit on when they sit in those trees. Has a big dark nose. You getting anybody getting this? Big dark nose and small button eyes. Anybody getting that? Ah, Aurora, great guess. Koala, that's so good. Congratulations on that. Okay, when a, when a koala is born, it's an inch in length. And this ruler, an inch right about there. Yeah, and they are called joeys, and they're about the size of a jelly bean. And they live in their mother's pouch for six months. Um, koalas were named which by Aborigines, and it means animal that doesn't drink. Koalas don't drink any water. They get all their liquids from the leaves that they eat which are eucalyptus leaves. Um, today I brought a picture. It'll be posted for your color on your coloring page. It says, God made the koala. You can see its ears are big compared to its body size. And it has long, fluffy white hair inside those ears. It has a very black nose and little tiny button eyes. Has a white underbelly and four large legs that are strong. They have to be, they live in trees. So they have these claws that are not retractable and they hold on tightly to the trees that they live in. Um, I will post this and you guys color it. Enjoy that. Koala bears aren't really bears. So we're not going to call them koala bears anymore. We're just going to call them koalas. They um, do not belong to the bear family, even though they look kind of like a bear. They actually are part of the uh, kangaroo family and the wombat family. So mothers have these pouches and their joeys, which they're called, live inside for six months. And then they kind of are carried around on their mother's back for another six months. Now, I think we've got a picture going right now of how adorable these animals are. They are so cute. Makes you just want to pick them up and hug them. But they aren't really like good for being a pet. Koalas sleep 20 hours a day and they sleep in eucalyptus trees and they're not very social. They stay to themselves. They communicate by a snort sound and followed by a belching sound. They live in eucalyptus groves and they eat about two and a quarter to two and a half pounds of leaves a day. Wow. 
newborn joeys don't have fur on their bodies and their eyes and ears are both closed when they're uh, first born. They live in eucalyptus trees and they eat only eucalyptus leaves. Can you believe that? They don't drink water. They will drink water if there is like a particularly dry season, but they don't as a rule drink water. They eat only eucalyptus leaves and eucalyptus leaves happen to be poisonous to other animals but their digestive tract has been um, developed so the, to the point where it can uh, break down these tough leaves and the poison that is carried in them. They live 12 to 14 years in the wild, but in, um, in the regular part, if they're in captivity, they can live up to 20 years. They are as cute and adorable as anything, but they do not make good pets. They carry bacteria that could be harmful to humans. So they don't make good pets, but they are as adorable as anything. And I would like to just thank the Lord today for making the koala bear. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for the koala. And I thank you, God, that you created that animal. It's so darling, just so cute. I pray, God, that you would bless each child today that's here. And I pray, Lord, that you would watch over them and protect them. And I ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the story about the koala, and I'll see you next time. Bye.